Good evening, Professor. Uh, thank you so much for a wonderful semester. I just want to start, start off by saying that. I want to thank you for having an understanding about my situation. Um, I'm feeling a lot better right now. Things are going very well right now. And I just want to thank you, make the situation a lot easier. And uh, going on from there, uh, I really enjoyed everything that we learned in going over this semester. Uh, if there's anything I find very important about uh, the sports media industry is analytics and digital media marketing. Uh, you can't do marketing nowadays without digital media. It's just not possible. Traditional uh, marketing is very important, of course, but uh, digital media marketing is just is just a step above with the way everything's going. Everything's going towards more mobile. Everything's going towards more streaming. Everything's going towards the phones and the internet. And it's been trending that way, and it, that's where it's trending now. So this class is an, an especially important, and everything we learned is especially important. Uh, cont everything is content-driven photo, video, uh, word, and it's very important to know how to uh, get that across and get that across on the right platforms and get it across the right way to the right people so you can garner more consumers and garner more followers and fans and uh, increase your brand, increase your brand authenticity and authority in the marketplace. And so as we created content for our, our various platforms, we wanted to make sure we had a variety of content, not just the same stale picture here, picture there for on Twitter, Instagram, you know, video here, video there, you know, just showing the players, just doing the same things here and there. We wanted to highlight a lot of different things, bring in uh, a lot of different accounts, especially on Twitter. We made sure to uh, reply to a lot of the organizations that NBA Cares works with. And we actually got a number of replies from the Marcus Ol and the Marcus Ol Foundation. One of the representatives gave us a reply, so I feel like we did very well there. Uh, we also got follows from a few other accounts that were working in the same vein as us, like the Sports Philanthropy account. And uh, so we wanted to use the communication factor that Twitter has, and we because it's so unique there, we wanted to delve in with the replies and especially when we wanted to tweet we wanted to I know there's 280 character maximum but we didn't want to use too much of it we want to kind of get to the point you know kind of get across what we wanted to say and then let uh, maybe their our photo and video content kind of speak more for what was going on we also retweeted with comments uh, a lot of the important things that uh, the other organizations were doing around us and so just making a comment, just saying how important it is that they're doing what they're doing and then just providing the link and allowing people to read up what they're doing and allow their work to speak for itself. Uh, Instagram wise, uh, we kind of did the same same thing, varying various content. We provided a NBA Fit Fridays thing, uh, which uh, promotes consumer engagement over time and keeps uh keeps them coming back. Uh, we try to be as consistent as possible on all their platforms because we know when it comes to uh, social media, consistency is key because uh, out of sight, out of mind, and that's kind of the way it goes. So we try to be consistent uh, with our replies, especially on Twitter. Uh, definitely want to reply as soon as uh, possible, check our notifications, reply to anyone who's uh, replied to us or mentioned us or anything like that give a follow back to anyone who's supporting the cause because that's just it's very important and then as I was saying or, earlier to Instagram I believe uh, we garner success we got a like from Dwayne Wade which is crazy and but just goes to show that our that we were able to delve far enough into the space to reach the right people and from there, I mean, if we're able to do that over t over the uh, time, I'm very confident that this group would be able to accomplish a lot for our hypothetical, I guess not hypothetical, uh, NBA Athletes Care page. And so that was just our main focus throughout. We wanted to create a variety of content that would keep bringing the user back and just unique content. We didn't want to uh, be too wordy, give them too much, and speak too much on everything. Because sometimes the word, the photo itself, can 
speak for itself. The video itself can speak for itself. And then the actions of our athletes and other organizations that we've partnered with can speak for itself as well. But of course, at times we do need to speak our piece and we do and we did and I believe we did a, a great job in doing so. And uh, just the biggest lessons I've learned from this class is just, I've said it many times before, just the variety of content, uh, making sure it's engaging. Uh, we tr utilized polls and questions as well in our uh, social media efforts to uh, garner responses from our followers, which is very important. It's very important you create uh, communication with uh, your consumers and that you're consistent with that and you're, once again, you reply to that. And so we were great in all those efforts. Um, all in all, I, I, I really enjoyed working with this group. Uh, everyone did a fantastic job. Everyone did their part, really, uh, really went at it. And uh, 